you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. This is session 52. Uh, we have missed you. But we're running late, so we're just going to jump right into things with a recap. Previously, in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, ashes and bones were attacked in the streets of Skullport by a Mind Flayer, while Matashtai and Ezra stalked Droon Stone Dark across the catwalks of the city. Ashes' mind was stunned by the creature during the initial assault, but Bones, much to the surprise of the Illithid, stunned him right back <laughs> with an electric jolt from his storm boomerang. This, plus some timely assistance from Ezra, felled the creature. Ashes also fortunately recovered from his stupor relatively quickly, allowing the party to regroup and still follow Droon and his entourage up to the third level of the city. Eventually, Droon made his way into a building, and the party was just close enough to overhear the password. After some debate, they decided to use the password and minor disguises to infiltrate the location. Though a dubious plan, they succeeded, entering to find a Xanathar Guild safe house. They passed themselves off as additional muscle sent by higher-ups, and everything seemed to be moving in their favor. But a string of awkward scenarios fouled the mood and they found the environment of the safe house turn against them. In a moment of desperation, while another group of agents was collecting pay from the tavern, Bones drank his potion of mind reading and used it to probe the depths of Jeroen's mind. A brash move, since doing so instantly gave away the game to Jeroen. But still, Bones came away with information. Important information. Jeroen did know Clan Iron Eye, specifically a woman in it, Skella. He also knew Clan Iron Eye had gone to some place called the Lost Levels. Jeroen approached the party in a fury and for a moment, it seemed certain that our heroes would be set upon. But curiously, Droon did not call his men to attack. Instead, he pulled Bones aside, threatening, nay, promising, that Bones would rue this day if any sort of harm came to Skella. It seemed Droon was unwilling to expose his knowledge of, or connection to, this Skella Iron Eye. The party had hit upon a stroke of luck. Droon did, however, kick the party out of the safe house, and as they made their way back to the guts and garters to rest, they realized they were being followed by the spectator ally of Droon Stonedark. When the party attempted to figure out what to do about this threat, the situation resolved itself, as the creature, apparently spooked, disappeared. Unnerved, the party made their way back to the inn, and after a bit of watch and some discussion about sleeping arrangements, they rested. Peacefully through the night. So anybody who has not yet can gain the benefits of a long rest. Is it half of total hit dice or half of spent hit dice? Half of total. total. Oh, yeah. So, this is where we find ourselves. Um, it, it is the morning uh, of, though there is no morning in this place, This it is the morning of the 7th of Nidal, right? Um, somewhere far above you, snow flurries kick up across the city of winter or water is deep um almost put myself in never winter there for a second <laughs> i've been i've been reading a whole bunch of lore and a bunch of different stuff here lately so uh anyways so your night passes uneventfully uh some of you sleep more comfortably than others ashes having 
uh, arranged a hammock hammock in Come his off. shared room with Matashtai. But, uh, yeah. You guys, you yeah. guys have obtained information on Clan Iron Eye, right? Um, Haldown approaches. And you've got a couple of other things in the mix. What do you want to do? All right, real quick, let's review. What day is it and when is Haldown? It is the morning of the 7th. We got to be up by the 10th. The 10th? Yeah, okay. So we got three days. Okay. All right, <clears throat> find this kid. Sure. Get some, get some breakfast. Is there uh, breakfast at the Guts and Garters? God, that's an awful fucking name. Are there Guts? <laughs> yes, but you might not like what's on the menu. Uh, there is a... Uh, you go downstairs... You find quietude there, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move you guys around on the map until we actually uh, get into to different things. Oh yeah, you guys aren't on the map. Sorry. Here, I'll, I'll shift you over to the map, but we're not gonna we're not gonna dance around until things actually happen. Um. Oh, as a heads up, go this real quick. Um. You guys would like to refer to it. You should have a handy dandy map for Skullport. Um, but it's just a whole lot of nothing, except for the point locations I've placed on the map for you guys. And that's kind of what you have uh, experienced so far. Skullport. Mm, gotcha. So those are the places that you kind of know about, have experienced, etc. Um, so you go downstairs uh, from the Guts and Garters, and you find uh, there's a modest uh, seating arrangement in the corner of the lobby there. Um, and if you wish to break your fast, Quietude will provide very minor... options basically uh you get bread um which is a very it's not made from flour is is the key term there <laughs> it's clearly made from some sort of like fungus or something like that or some underground mm. Uh, mm. millet and then there's well, uh did they, some... did they at least try to push it off as gluten-free no they do not there's some odd uh, fruits that are, they're kind of like berries of some sort. They're dried. They're kind of figgish, I guess, would probably be the, the best comparison. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's very bare. <clears throat> Just sustenance to fill your bellies. Guess we'll have to find some guts elsewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm good without. Thank you, though. You are not. I, I, okay. Um, quiet, well, Quietude doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. He didn't really care about your opinion or whether or not you <laughs> enjoy the food or not. So, he, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, all right, so you, you said something about finding a kid? I, where, where are we going? Uh, yeah, we're uh, heading down to the docks. Apparently there's a, uh, I think a hag or something. Uh, the way they described her seems pretty similar to the hags we met over on the uh, Sargoth level. Ooh, is it is it one of them that was uh, babysitting or... Um... Uh, I real hope not, because sounds like this one kidnapped a kid, so. Uh, let me, oh. look, at me look at my notes here. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, sounds like her name is Olive Stillwater, and she owns a shop down near the slave pens called Dead Man's Corner. 
that doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah, no, not at all. I'm really excited. I think she's going to be a wonderful person. I agree. Well, <clears throat> Absolutely. So, um, what kind of thing she sells? After talking with uh, Burnin, sounds like uh, Delvin. De- Delvin or Devlin? Delvin? Yeah. I believe it's Delvin. Delvin and his buddy were out uh, in a boat. Um, and something attacked him, dragged Delvin into the water, and the, the buddy says it had bluish green skin and like seaweed for hair which as far as they know matches with all of Stillwater definitely Delvin so uh, I figure we stop by ask some questions uh, get some answers uh, <laughs> sounds like uh, she's not too well thought of in the area so maybe uh Let's poke around a bit. Well, all right, he. Aye, aye, Captain. The sooner we leave, the better. Okay. So, you guys are going to make your way through Skullport to the Dead Man's Corner. Okay. Here are. Please. The tension pool will tick up. Um, and then I'm going to Racist. copy pasta, you guys, over here. Delete you from big ass map. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this because there's a couple of different things that happens. So let me pull this all up. So, you find as you're traveling through Skullport that moving through the first and even the second level to a little bit of a lesser extent is very crowded. It's narrow. Um, And and I don't mean with people. I mean the buildings are kind of like pushed in on each other. The the streets are more alleys, etc. But you've experienced the third level... Um, and it's much more open, right? The rooftops, uh, some of the highest buildings, etc. Uh, this, as you come to the docks, you kind of get this first open taste of of the port of shadows. You also get the uh, River Sargoth, which I get to now play in the background, so uh, Mitch can have to pee. Several times. We should have a a, uh, chat tracker for how many times Mitch has to pee for this session. Hold up. Do you guys assume I'm peeing every time I get up to get a drink? Yes. Yes. I I assume (laughs) assume Mitch is always peeing. You're peeing. You're peeing. Got it. I even think sometimes if you're just like leaning to the side, you're actually like pulling a bottle in and taking care of business just to, just to, you know, just so you feel like it's not that frequent. Uh, uh. <laughs> Man, right. you be peeing, bro. So as you come into the kind of like the dock area, right? Just these these open air spaces have a dreary and forlorn atmosphere about them, right? Closed shops and warehouses close this abandoned market, dotted with empty fish stalls. The pungent air is filled with smells of brine and fish. The shops in this place seem to be vacant, though over here, as you guys kind of travel through the area, Has kind of come over here, looking around at things. 
Uh, there is a stage in the center of this plaza with all the trappings of a slave market. But it seems long abandoned. Boards are rotted through. Um, everything's incredibly weathered. It looks like it hasn't been used in ages. Um, and actually, you guys are finally in this area. We get to uh, we get to use a handout. It's gonna be fun. Oh, well. Get a, a little bit of a better image of the atmosphere of Skullport. So here you go. This is the docks Ooh. of Skullport. Very cool. It's way more lit than I expected. <laughs> Yo, it's, lit. it's not that lit. That's that's bullshit. That's just the artist going. Well, I can't just show a black fucking town with <laughs> just darkness everywhere. So let me magic up some light. Oh, it's gonna be all bluish. But that kind of like shows the buildings and the the tiers and all of the different like catwalks stringing between buildings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it does not take you long wondering about the abandoned, abandoned environs before you find on the southwesternmost section of this kind of like opened air docks, find the dead man's corner. And to the south, right, out over the river, river Sargoth, um, you see a, an immense fortress. Um, and it's kind of distant. It's across this bridge over here that you guys saw. Um, it's, so it's a, it's a little distant, um, you know, 60, 80 feet out. Um, but you can see flickering torches, uh, manned battlements, etc. What do you guys want what to do? What do we think that is? Xanathar? Yes. Ezra said yes, so Zentarum. Okay, so <laughs> are we supposed to find this hag? Loop of logic. Yeah, uh, she's supposed to own a shop down here named uh, Dead Man's Corner. Go up to this building. Is there a sign on it? Uh, so there is a sign out outside the shop reads the Dead Man's Corner. The place ashes and say, "Shut up." The place <laughs> absolutely reeks. It is putrid. Great. Um, a mask up. That's a, that's the wrong button I clicked there. I commenced the maskering. Okay. Gotcha. I'll take the. I'll throw my hood up. It now has two fresh holes in it for my horns that would hash out. So uh, grateful to help me with. And I'll grab the drawstrings and just. <laughs> drawstrings. Drawstrings. Man, you living in oh, a yeah, different era. Drawstrings. drawstrings. Ball, ball strings. Okay, cool. We're ready. So. I masked up as well. I'm assuming Ezra and Bones gonna come. Yeah, yeah, I also come in. Or come I, I, up I to the, the shop, last thing, so I'm sitting back, watching. Okay. Wait. So, uh, what do you do? I go in. Hey. Okay. Uh, Ashes opens the door, and opening the door almost knocks you on your ass as the stench from within rolls over you like a wave. Please make a constitution oh saving throw. Um, it is a DC 18. Stank. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, f you feel that, that little bread <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, you feel the <coughs> Uh, he kind of like turns and does the <coughs> off to one side scenario. Um, and 
as you open the door, see oh, Lord. Oh, no. within the darkened building, right? Um, there's no light inside. Within the, the darkened building, you see row upon row of dead, rotting humanoids standing at attention. And then you hear a voice from within call out. Oh, step inside, dearies. They won't bite. Well, not of their own volition anyways. <laughs> I step in. Um, as you step inside, reclining on a stack of crates in the northern corner is a familiar-looking creature. Aquamarine-skinned, seaweed-haired woman. Uh, this one holds a pipe in one hand. Uh, kind of like a long uh, Cruella de Vil-esque pipe, right? Right. Cruella de Vil didn't have uh, a cigarette yes, like holder. I have a little uh, cigarette on it. You're, you're correct. She didn't. But it's still a kin. Um, is it like a Gandalf pipe? Sure. Is it a pipe or a cigarette holder? It's actually important. I need to know. It's a pipe. <laughs> Jesus. And she has a long, pale yellow scar running from the tip of her chin all the way down her throat, down uh -oh. her chest, and down, it disappears out of sight, um, in, in what is a very low-cut blouse. Good lord, someone fucked her up. Um, so you all, you kind of begin to step inside. Is everyone actually stepping inside to, to be able to see things? I mean, it, if that is the case. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll squeeze, I'll squeeze in. I'm gonna need some peeps to like squeeze on in. Okay. I'm squeezing in. Who, so okay. someone, someone is going to have to be the person who stands the closest to the undead. Who would like to be that person? I will stand closest to the undead. Wait. Huh? Ezra. We nominate Ezra. Oh, I'm okay. stronger than Ezra. So, um, true. Sure. You all kind uh, of like, uh, I'd like to scan the undead. Do any sure. of them match the description of Delvin? Uh, oh, oh, that's a good question. When I'm not sure I'm ready for the ready for the answer to. Not gonna lie, there's gonna be a very lack of diplomacy if there is. These corpses all seem quite old. Um, and they all seem of a more adult size than you might anticipate uh, a young lad of Delvin's age. Um, the zombies that you see before you show wear and age. They've been zombies for quite some time. There are no defining features about them anymore. All right. Other than their bodies are not that of a child. Yes, other, other than their bodies are not sized for a child or a young teen, basically. Um, so as you all kind of come in, squeeze in and uh Matashtai gives this kind of like long inspection over the the rows of dead men standing there um you eventually hear this <laughs> ah you like what you see not particularly oh that's unfortunate. And here I thought I had a good stock. Still, they're cheap and useful. Exploring. Just uh, let one out in front of you. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, there's a trap. 
Not for you, though. I mean, she's got a point. You're not wrong. Hey, uh, how much do you charge for each of them? Five gold a head. And how are they controlled? And how much for the rest of the body? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like you. You'll have a discount on your first one. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Lucky you. Yeah, and she is she things. is legit like kind of reclined on these boxes, just like one arm propped up, the other the other has the uh, pipe right, and she's just kind of like gesturing with it and chuckling right. Um. And she says, as for control, well, they take orders fairly well as soon as I give the hand over. Uh, mind you, they're not uh, complicated creatures, so um, don't expect them to be very good at anything except for go there, stop here, eat that. Do they need to eat? Oh, no, I was saying four. Well. Right. Yeah, gotcha. I was, I was just making sure. I'm not really... I'm not familiar with the upkeep on zombie... Zombies are these days. <laughs> oh, that's the beauty. There really isn't any. Good. Great labor. Uh, Um, I kind of like I want to pace around a little bit like I'm inspecting there's very little room to do so but you are more yeah, than welcome to little, utilize little, that room steps. I, I push I push ashes that way a little so I can pace a little bit more <laughs> get out gosh damn I'm trying to inspect the stock um, and so I walk around a little bit then I look back at her and I say uh, how long you had these ones aw the last Freshy I got was... Freshy. Mm. <laughs> uh. Little under a month ago, I think. Well, oh, gotta, gotta line up. Line up my, my note. Unfortunately, I don't do much business. I find myself buying more than selling. But still, it's a comfortable life. I can't complain. I guess. Yeah, how'd you how'd you find yourself over here in Skullport? If you don't mind my asking. She looks at you and she she kinda has this wry grin on her face and her dark eyes just kind of glitter and she says That's a long personal story. Okay. Then uh, you you may keep it. If you'd like to hear it over dinner. Mm. I, I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass. Another time, perhaps. <clears throat> uh, Jeremy, as I look around the room, does there seem to be a door, an exit, anything out of this room? Nope. Okay. Um, then as we're chatting, uh, I'm going to telepathically speak to Bones. And I'm going to say, Hey, uh, do you mind taking a look outside? Seeing if there's any thing connected to this building that maybe keeps other things. Yeah, right. I stretched. Uh, well, a little too enclosed in here for me. A little cr cramped. Enclosed is awkward. A little too cramped in here. And I walk out. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's right. Acting. Acting! Acting! Okay. The Bones is gonna head outside and investigate while uh, the rest of you remain inside. So, what's happening inside? Um, as I kind of like pace back and forth, inspecting, and say, uh, they're a little beat up, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, well. Little, little smelly, too. Uh, they're dead. Honey, it's, sure. They come this way, and time takes its toll. Well, 
Well, that's just the problem, ain't it? Time. And you wouldn't happen to have anything a little fresher, would you? Oh, I only buy the dead ones, dear. Mm. Nasty I... business, that live trade. You, uh, you know anyone that still deals in it around here? Uh, she, you actually watch her lip kind of curl up. Um, and she says, there's always some upstart trying to make a quick buck or run some sort of new empire. But no, I don't know anyone. Not currently. If I did, well... I think a few bits of information here or there, and I probably wouldn't know them for very long. Mm. All right. Um, how did, did she? I should have said it as you said it, but like, did she have any tells of when she said, "I only deal in the dead"? Roll me an insight check. Okay. Uh, I think insight is the thing that, that you I have would... advantage on. Yeah. I believe. Advantage? So long. Advantage 23. Um, she seemed honest. Uh, she seemed. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, right? Like. It's, it's like playing cards. You, can you ever really tell? Sometimes, absolutely, you can tell when people are really bad liars. So she either uh, believes exactly what she's saying, is telling the truth, or she's a very, very good liar. Okay. Say it. Uh, I hope you well, don't take actually, it. Just, uh, just a moment. Bones, what are you doing outside? Prowling. Prowling. He prowling. I first I prowl prowling. This way, and then I prowl down this way. Okay. Um, assuming that you're kind of investigating the building, roll me an investigation check. All right. Uh, that's an I, and they're in alphabetical order. There it is. Uh, that is a fact. Yep, I'm prowling. Doifa, doifa. Um, there is a building to the north that abuts this building. Um, but there seems to be no obvious connection uh, to it or anything like that. He said but. Um, and there is nothing to the south but uh, <laughs> a little bit of a ledge. Um, there looks to be like a little uh, sitting place where maybe someone has fished for many years. Um, there's an old hitching post. And that's it. There's water. Nice. So, meanwhile, I'm back inside. I stay on the yeah. brow. Uh, uh, if you don't mind me asking, and hopefully you don't take this the wrong way, but it seemed like you spent a little time in or near the water. You, uh, you know of any kids going missing recently? She kind of clucks her tongue at you. Um, and she says, That's mighty presumptuous of you. Though I must admit, I do try to keep my skin moist. However, actually, I don't spend much time in the water these days. Not since... Well... Not since a little family dispute. That's so. A uh, yes. You, uh... You related to, uh... Coral Waternuts? Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, 
as she, you kind of like begin down this line of uh, questioning, right? I can't remember. I, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Her eyes squint at you, right? And you say, Coral, what, sir? And uh, the eyes go from a squint to kind of like this flash of anger. Anger? Uh-oh. Shouldn't have pushed that button. And um, she says, You've met my sister's acquaintance. Sister's acquaintance? She says that. Oh, uh, wait, you said you said Coral. You said Coral, right? Uh, then, yeah. then, sorry, she wouldn't have said that. Um, she would just say, you've met my sisters. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I was thinking of a different uh, name. I apologize. Uh, yeah, 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 we have. Uh, we just came from over that way. Oh, what a pleasure it must have been. I mean, I don't know if I'd go that far, but. Oh, no. You didn't yeah, walk away uh, with gifts or a good situation, aid of some sort. Well, then nothing comes for free now, does it? Oh, no, it doesn't. I promise you, it truly doesn't. Do, uh, do they make their way down here to Skullport ever? My sisters prowl the river as their own. It would not surprise me. Hmm. She kind of like squints at you. These question, you're after something. I would know yeah. what that something is. Yeah, I sure am, Olive. Uh, I'm looking for a kid who uh, went missing out in the water. And his buddy says that the thing that took him looks a lot like you. Uh, she is uh, pretty straight-faced throughout this entire uh, uh, series. Um, ever since the mention of her sisters, right? She's kind of like been pursing, her, like pushing her lips together, very thin-lined, right? Um, and you go, you say all this, right? And she's stone still for a second. And then her her smile splits into this big sharp tooth craggly grin, and she kind of just chuckles. <laughs> oh, sisters, you've gone and done it now. How interesting to draw the ire of such fine specimens. You seem pretty confident that your sisters are the ones who did it. Oh, well, I know it wasn't myself. And I know of no other of my kith or kin in this area. What else am I to assume? Besides, they do like their fresh... Meat. Well... To be honest, Olive, I'm uh, inclined to believe you. So, I think I'm going to go have a chat with your sister. Uh, between you and me, know any way I can get under their skin? Maybe get the information a little easier? Hmm. 
you see just this mix of emotions over her face, right? This glee, and then sudden, a sudden, like, inward, like, she's thinking. And then maybe, like, a flash of c concern, right? <laughs> but then this thoughtful look, and then she kind of, like, nods, and she asks, I might have something that would be of assistance to you. But Everything she looks at you, right? <laughs> and then she looks across and she looks at like the row of, of dead and she says, Well, boys, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, and the, the undead just stand there motionless, right? Like, they're just, uh, right? <laughs> they, uh, you don't know what that means. Um, and she, she looks at you and she says, I just might be able to help you. Or at least guide your hand in the right direction. However... I need you to do something for me. Kind of gestures ar around her and she says, Things were not always like this. My coven was once a thing of power that commanded respect. Gurgle and Coral are impetuous children, upstarts, eager in the moment, stretching their limbs. They're only a few hundred years old, after all. It's to be expected of them. They're still learning their boundaries. I would see myself back at the coven's head. With them properly following me as they used to. But to do that, well, I must needs my replacement removed. After all, there can be only three. What was the third one's name? The one called the Cuttlefingers. Oh, really? I didn't think Cuttlefingers was like. She didn't seem like the head, but no, she's not the head. She's the oh. new. She's the new one. So Coral's the leader, but only yeah. because they kicked Girl... out Olive and brought in Cuttlefingers. Gurgle is the leader, or at least she's the oh, one who okay. does the most speaking to you, but technically Gurgle and Coral share power. They overthrew, and, and I'm just, we're, we're just talking this through because this is information that at this point, Olive is going to be willing to give you, right? Mm -hmm. Gurgle and Coral overthrew Olive mm -hmm. and replaced her with a new hag, Caldra Cuddlefingers. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so you explained. Bring me the Cuddlefingers. Well, the fingers. <coughs> but then she'll just be Cuddle. And make sure she's dead. Oh, all right, there it is. <laughs> Feel free to rough more. my sisters up a bit if you want. But leave them alive. If you'll swear to this, I can give you a powerful bargaining chip. Now, how do we know? that placing you back at the head of this coven is not going to 
keep it doing the same bad shit it's doing now. Well, if you're able to enforce your will upon my sisters and remove Cauldra Cuddlefingers, why would I be so stupid as to make the same mistake that has already riled you once? You're a smooth talker there, Olive. Well. Well. I can be smoother at other things. Sorry. It's the smell. <laughs> she just um, grins like she knows what's up, but she doesn't care. Mm. Well, we're team, and I'm not going to speak for everyone. But oh, I think, I think I can agree to this, on the condition that we know for sure your sisters are responsible. Hmm. If we get there and find out they had nothing to do with this, feels off. Well. The way I envision it, you'll already have your bargaining chip in your hands. So. A little bit of trust on my side, a little bit of trust on your side. But the trust on my side means that if I'm incorrect, you will have a bargaining chip but nothing to bargain for, and I will be out on a limb. Is Chip something I can't be given back? Hmm. Once it's obtained, well, my sisters will know shortly. It's a very <clears throat> precious item to them. Hmm. I want Cauldra removed, regardless of whether or not this child is there. If this youngling was not taken by my sisters, and you still remove Cauldra, then in good faith, I will owe you a boon. Anything... Back at Ashes. Oops, sorry. She's she gonna say anything within my power to give. I look back at Ashes and Ezra. What do you think? Um, I'm inclined to side with you, Matt. We find out definitively they have nothing to do with it then I don't think we can rightly do anything they did help us and I, I will say it, it seems a little convenient that the, uh, the, the the people that she has a vendetta against are um, responsible <clears throat> just, just, just thinking out loud, though. Thanks. Also, not looking forward to going back to the Sargoth Lair, considering what it took to get here. I, I, I mean, we do have to go back, because back is up, and up is where we're heading, so... That's true. I cox our head at tune, she says, what could be simpler? Take a boat. Easy P. Just don't fall in. Could use a boat. 
Could use a boat. We went through the acid rain tunnels. It was not pleasant. Wouldn't recommend. Could have been keep worse. That in mind. I. Like I said before, I don't think you're lying. And there's no way for me to know for sure. So I think we can look into this. And if your sisters are responsible, take care of it. They are not to die. That is understood. I look back at the other two guys. Do you boys understand that? I well, understand it. All but Cuttlefinger. She is most definitely to die. <laughs> the number of hags shall be three, and three is the number of hags. Four no more, no less. <laughs> and two is outright. <laughs> Um, oh shit, Bones, are you still skulking around? Like, are you, uh, have you returned yet? Are you just doing kitty things? You're still muted, by the way. Still muted. And now you're actually looks muted. Like it, looks like it's a Discord mute. Oh. Nope. So it is. So yeah, it I'm is. Skulking. Skulking. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't <clears> think <throat> Bones would be opposed. And if so... Well, I'll take responsibility for that. I think we uh, will agree to your terms. Our terms. Very good. All right, then. What you seek is here in the Port of Shadow. Find the lamplighters. And Darian Dusk. He holds the eye of the governor. Take it. They will do much to have it return. And Darian Dusk, correct? <clears throat> yep. Okay. You said they're here in town. Yeah. Right. They run a shop. Okay. Well, thank you for the information. And, uh, I will be seeing you soon. I eagerly wait, await your return. With good news. And a young lad in tow, I hope. As do I. Good luck, handsome. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna grab beer real quick. She winks yeah. at, at Ezra as, as he leaves. Nope. 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 <laughs> Damn, she think Ezra already, is ugly? I already had one head get on me. It's time for someone else. Yeah. As much time she's spinning in water, how the hell is she so thirsty? Come on, Ezra. You're the one with the highest charisma. I got a hit on you somehow. With not pegs? <laughs> <laughs> hey, beggars oh. can't be choosers. Look. I mean, you weren't begging, I but... Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I am neither motherfucker living that virgin life. Virgin life? Are more interesting than women. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, uh, the party reconvenes outside the dead man's corner. Um, as you leave, the door is closed behind you. That was a quick peek. Sure was. <laughs> One. <laughs> we need that, that turn tracker. Seven. Is he getting um, seven? <laughs> when we 
when we meet back up with Bones, I uh, clue him into the goings on. It's a seven. Damn, so they were evil all along. The Maybe. hags? I, mean, I, I think we knew that. What, was that a. Uh, I didn't know that. I found them quite amenable. A, a formal. Um, contract? I, 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 I've heard stories that uh, making deals with hags is um, unwise, uh, but. Well, I didn't sign nothing. She didn't sign nothing. And at the end of the day, she can't deal with her sisters alone, and she thinks we can. So. But what if she is worse than what is currently in uh, power? Then when we, we come back. Her too? I don't understand. I, I that's gotta say, that's I, literally I what job. she said. <laughs> yeah. We clean up after ourselves. I wasn't there. I didn't hear that point. She was legit like... <laughs> <clears throat> Just the uh, not super cool to break. You know, we're on good terms with them. It's going to be a messy affair. How how do we find uh, uh, this proof, so to speak? Well, uh, she said that our best luck is to find this eye of the coven. And she says they'll be pretty willing to do anything for it. So, yeah, yeah, but, but how, how do we how do we know that they? Well, we trade the eye for you, the child. You have the kid. And if they we say we got the eye, if you want it, give us the kid, and they'll either produce the kid, or we walk. Seems straightforward uh, enough to me. Let's go. All right. Uh, so we're looking for the lamp ladder in town. Uh, and Darian Dusk. Guess he either has or knows where the Eye of the Coven is. Would this have been information we got out of Kalal? Probably not offhand. I would say if we don't already have the information, that would be our next stop is to head over to... Okay. You guys make your way through Skullport towards the Flagon and the Dragon intent on using your contract. Halal Kladani. Source of information. When you arrive, you find her skinned corpse hanging from the ceiling fan. As you travel Etched through... Etched into her chest... Is she? Is she freaking? Xanathar was here, written scriggly. <laughs> and she, what's his face from Borderlands? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, as you travel through Goldport, the tension once, tracker goes once up again, and we get to roll on the tension, the tension tracker goes up because uh, it's a. Dangerous plus. And Ashes plus. finds another Illithid and yes. becomes Slackjaw for another 30 seconds. Just don't. Don't play my mind. Anything but my mind. Play anything else. Oh shit. Okay. Mm, that's a oh, couple that means, uh That means uh, we get bad things. No, it just means things. It doesn't necessarily mean bad. I mean, something each each one is six successively worse. Increased. No, it's just it if does? a six no, shows no, up. No, it, it does not. It's, it, oh, it should totally get worse the more sixes. No, it's just no, a single don't six. Her. Stop! Stop! It should absolutely get worse. Like, it, like if that was all, it was six sixes, a black dragon should descend upon Skullport. <laughs> God bless. Yeah, but, but that, what where? that is, is... What do you mean? That's a random it's chance for just in from the TPK. Port. <laughs> uh, but what is going to happen, that means we've got a couple of different situations situations um okay uh somebody roll me a 1d4 Mitch okay I'm on it a 1 Ooh. 7 illithids with pipes 
emerge from the shadows. <laughs> with with hypes. hypes. <laughs> They're like, we don't want to fuck with your mom. We're going to break them legs. There's more money yeah. for the warriors. Warriors. Come out and play. Come out and play. <laughs> I heard the bottle thing there was improv. Oh, I actually heard that too. Uh, this. And the map is one big game of Where's Waldo. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, you guys are ducking through the alleys. Um, making your way across the city towards the Flagon and the Dragon. When you come upon uh, sheer happenstance, you come upon a conversation. Uh, you you come down a narrow corridor um, and you hear uh, raised voices towards the end of it. You hear The master is not pleased with your progress, Carlisle. You have done little to aid the cause. Um, and you hear a you hear a snap, right? Um, and a scream. This just this pained panic scream, right? Um, and you hear this. Oh no, no, please, please, just give me another chance. I promise! I, I'll get them! I'll, I'll get them to join! I'll get anybody to join! I promise! Um... What do you guys do? So we don't see them, we just hear them? Stop their uh, evil well, doer! You, you... Yeah, you're hearing them around the corner. To the All east. Right, um, run around the corner. Like our business. Did you just it's always say a hero's mind business. our business? We mind our business? I said it doesn't really seem like our business is what I said. Nice. And I stand by it. I, co I come around the corner and I say, uh, excuse me. Um, so you come, uh, you come around the corner and you see, um, standing there, um, two figures. One is a dark... Um, hooded figure uh, with an arm raised, and the arm itself is kind of tap tapping, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> get tap, motherfucker. Get let me, tap. Let me tell the story <laughs> while petting. So you see one arm raised, right, um, as if to strike the other, um, and it's this clenched. It looks like a blackened armor um until you realize it's just this craggly like charred arm right um that's raised up uh the person roll me a history check uh me either of you you're both over there here's my negative one history hello hello d Get ten. Oh, he coming in close. And he gets gets needy sometimes. Okay. Um. Yeah, you don't recognize the other person. Um, but uh, so the the individual with the clenched fist um, kind of like looks over, um, and says, "What do you want? This is none of your concern." Oh. uh... I'm sorry. I wasn't speaking to you. I look around the person to the person on the ground and I say, excuse me. You all right? It's a, I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's, a, it's all fine. This uh, uh, about your business, stranger. So you what sure? this person looks broken? Um, nothing looks broken on the, the, and they're not on the ground. Um, they're just like cowering, right? 
Um, nothing looks broken, uh, but you can see a uh, kind of like a slash across their cheek. Okay. Oh, well, that's what you meant by crack. Gotcha. Um, well, I kind of say again. You sure? Oh, oh, sh certainly. Yes, a everything is fine. N nothing to see here. All, all fine. Yeah, We're all fine nice. here. Uh, how are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> My lap, cat. All right. <laughs> Get him, Odie. Well. Get him. Oh, what a little bug. I guess you two have a good night then. Um, they're kind of like standing in the way. Do you try to press past them? But yeah, you, like, I get I get awkwardly close. Like, uh, yeah, sorry. Just, excuse uh, sorry, me. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. I gotta. There's this. Go there's this, this very this, aw this awkward. Like, uh, um, the one grabs the other by the scruff of the neck and like pulls him back, right? And just kind of like <sighs> looks at you, sorry. like it's, just gives you this disgusted look. Get, like you're scuffing. As the I get earth. closer. As I get closer, I speak into the person on the ground's mind. I say, "Last chance. If you need help." Uh, tell the me now. the the thing Not only does the thing screech back into your mind, it is a terrified, broken screech. Yikes. Okay. Um. Uh, cool. Um. Well, <laughs> can't help something. I can't help something that doesn't want to help itself. So, I, I like to imagine you're like, all right, this is your lap. And then, like, he just, ah! <laughs> oh, God. All right. <laughs> okay. You guys move past. Continue yep. on your way. Um, Just beyond eye shot, you hear another crack and another shriek, followed by a second and another shriek. I mean, he's still within telepathic range. <laughs> Match just winces at the sound of each one. Just... You quit that. No touch the microphone. No touch the microphone. All right, get off me. Fish. Get hair everywhere. Touch the fish. Go. 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 Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Papa. Papa, I want no to papas. be pet. No papas. No papas. Alright. Hello, father. Don't you tap tap me. No. No. <laughs> He's going for it. He's like, I'm gonna tap him. I'm gonna tap him. Out of there. Insatiable oh, yeah. cat. Okay. Um, all right. Full resolves. Okay. Um, you guys travel further. Uh, find yourself at the flag and the dragon. The flag and the dragon. Okay. Well, yeah, I think this is your rodeo now, Ezra. I, I, I mean, we're all welcome we we have established ourselves as um yeah yeah, yeah. she your friend that seemed unnecessary jeremy <laughs> <laughs> we we enter the flagon and the dragon fantastic no just the flagon we don't enter the dragon okay yeah. uh so you head inside <laughs> and uh there's a there's I, I actually only enter the dragon there's a minor <laughs> uh set of clientele in here that are um, just uh it's very early morning um but they are drinking <laughs> like like they have nothing else to do um kalal is there uh, cleaning the bar cool. she's you enter she greets you um what do you want to do uh I walk up to the bar and order four 
whatevers. Okay, four whatevers. Uh, the cheapest whatever she has is uh, four silver pieces per. So. I mean, is that is that things that people would partake in? I know there are picky drinkers in this group. So. It's ale. It's good. It's she has good goat's head ale. Ale. Oh, um, I have some. It's not the. It it's not the little the roll. Head. I'm not interested. Worm whiz from um, the Black Tankard. That's actually what it's called, by the way. It's called Worm. Bones, is there a specific imbibement that would please you that isn't goat head ale? No, just as long as it has the goat's head. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come with the head. Special request? I, I don't have I don't have a head, I don't have a goat. <laughs> I mean, there's kind and she kind of like points at one of the bottles. There's kind or it's not a bottle, one of the the casks. It's kind of got like a goat's head brand on the cask. Yeah, you know? like it's like burned into the wood, a maker's mark or whatever. Mm hmm. Do you want a wood chip with a goat's head on it? A what? A witched? A wood chip? Because, you know, she would have to carve it from the barrel to... I'm not doing that. She's not going to do that. Never mind. I'm, I'm not doing that. I just feel Come like to think about it, draw. I haven't seen a goat in, in years, actually. Not since the last time I went topside. Anyways, what are you doing here? What do you want? Uh, to drink and the pleasure of my company how wonderful yes, fantastic yes. all right all right well you boys have fun just post up at the bar i'll keep the drinks coming you keep the coin flowing i put three gold on the bar <laughs> she palms the the golden and kind of shrugs and she says it if you're here to drink that's fine you want something else? Tell me. Lamp lighter. I, uh, Where is he? The I don't remember the lamp seven. lighters. <laughs> <laughs> My mom. I went to Tether to find something. <laughs> Nothing on there for the lamp lighter. Um, uh, where's the lamp lighter? No one watched it. Very good. Check it out. It's a. Uh, it's a shop. It sells lantern supplies, lanterns, oils, etc. For lighting actually, lights. I think about it. I don't think it sells oil anymore. So just the lanterns. It's an odd arrangement. The uh, lady by the river denoted it as a point of uh, interest. Lady by the river. Seaweed hair. Still water. Yeah. Oui. You all make interesting friends. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but... Um... I'm surprised you could breathe long enough to speak to her. It wasn't easy. I don't think I'm going to smell well for another week or so. Huh. And you actually got something out of her. She wants something in return, of course. Huh. Which one of you is taking her to dinner? Ashes. He points at ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Not it. <laughs> she she asks that question like legitimately Ezra like as, as if ex ashes. expecting it as, okay then she she looks at ashes and she says who are you
<laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wouldn't happen to know uh, these lamp lighters? They shady. It's they good uh, folk? there are no lamp lighters. It's just the name of the shop. It's a, oh, okay. It's not like a faction of some sort. Okay. I think it was named after the Lamplighters, but the Lamplighters haven't existed in Skullport on uh, centuries. I'm not sure. Okay. Hell, there are barely even lamps here these days. Yeah, I noticed that. Well... They tried for the longest time to keep them up and running, but um, people kept stealing them, breaking them, and as the as the town declined, it just reached that point. So, oh, sorry, where was uh, up again? Uh, anyway, so about that she, head. she gives you the uh, she'll give you the location of the lamplighters. Um, general directions to it. It's up on the um, uh, the brightest hill in all the land. It is. I think it's on the third. Oh, the lamps. Floor. Aren't you with it? Let me double check. It is no, no. It's on the second floor, actually. So it's actually on the second story, and it's not too far away from where you guys actually are. So uh, she can kind of direct you to um, one of the nearest ways to get up, and then uh, basic directions to get to the lamplighters mm. itself. Lamplighters. She can like uh, she's kind of quizzical about it, but she 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 kind of like raises an eyebrow. Any chance you're sharing why you're heading to the lamplighters? I won't pry if it's uh, private, but it's a quest. Uh oh, In interesting. <laughs> um, do you I, go I, on I, many I, I, quests? I at Literally all the time. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Um, I look at Ezra and I kind of give him like a questioning glance. Like, do we want to share? Like this, you, this is your group more than my group. I don't know what's good, what's not good to say. There was a, a um, falling out with her sisters. Huh. Is that the important part, or is it the stolen child? <laughs> Do you say that so, out loud? Ooh. Yes, I say that out loud. <laughs> so Kal Kal Kalal's uh, <laughs> response is pretty that, flat. Matt turns to Ezra like, yeah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Kalal's... Uh, I mean, who are we talking about? Her response to the whole sisters thing is pretty flat, and then she's the the stolen child comes up, and she kind of like, well, good luck on your quest. Then I like her. Thanks for the info and the drinks. Thanks for the yeah, coin. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, are you guys gonna hang out for a while, or are you just gonna head out? Uh... I mean, I want my chug and lug. Chug and lug. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, no, okay. Hey, Mitch held that position for such a long time. I was just like, I was like, is he, is he with us? But you were, you were just like, you were hyper focused. Sorry, I, was just like, I, was watching, I was watching something real quick. <laughs> and I was like, it. So anyways, okay. 
uh, you guys are going to just make your way towards the lamp lighters. Um, and as you do, the tension pool will tick up. And I think we will go ahead and go to break. And we will reconvene outside the lamp lighters. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Look at that headlock, that hairline. That is like a perfect curvature and... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> when you turn 37. <laughs> I wish I would be that lucky when I get that age. All right, oh, we'll sorry. see y'all in just a little bit. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 So...